Okay, so here we're given points A and B. We have to find two different vector equations of this line containing these points here. So I know for my vector equation of a line, I need to have a vector, a starting point, and a direction vector. That's the key. That's from your instruction. And so in order, I know that here's my point A, here's my point B. So I'm looking for this line here. So my direction vector can simply be AB. And so AB is going to be 1 subtract the negative 2 is 3. Negative 1 subtract 1 is negative 2. And 4 minus 3 is 1. Here is my direction vector. And so if I want to make my vector equation line, I choose a starting point, negative 2, 1, 3, plus t, or lambda, or p, whatever you want, 3, negative 2, 1. Here's one equation of the vector line. If I wanted to make a second different equation, I could change my starting point. I could use this point here, 1, negative 1, 4, and that would make a brand new vector equation. I could also take my direction vector if I want to, and I could make it negative in the opposite direction. That would also work. Or I could take it and I could make a scalar multiple and make it 6, negative 2, 1. Really, the options are endless. There's so many different things I could do with it, and they all look different. And that's A part done. Next, I want to write the parametric equation of the line. Well, if I look at my formula booklet, that just means I come along and I go, my x component is equal to 1 plus 3t. My y component is negative 1 minus 2t. And z is 4 plus t. That's parametric form. Next is I want to state the Cartesian form. Well, here's the Cartesian form of the equation here. And the way the Cartesian form of the equation works, this x0, y0, z0 are all points. And so I could simply go x minus 1 over 3 equals y. Here's my point. Subtract the point negative 1. Means I add it, divided by negative 2 equals, from here I can go z minus 4 over 1. That's one way I could do it. I also could, if I wanted to, to get this, I could take this equation here and solve for t. So it would be x minus 1 equals 3t, divide by the 3, and t is equal to x minus 1 over 3, which is this part here. And so each of these components equals t. And there's my Cartesian version of the line. It says, next I want to find the, a third point on this line. Well, if I, let's take this away. To get my third point, I just need to make, let's t be 2, let's say. And so, I plug 2 in there, it's 1 plus 6, negative 1 minus 4, and 4 plus 2. And so that gives me 7 minus 5 and 6. Here is a point. I could make t be anything, and I could get my point. And then finally, I want to find p if this is on the line. Well, I know that the x22 equals 1 plus 3t, which allows me here to solve for t. So I get subtracting 1, I get 1 is equal to 3t, 21. And so 7 is t. I can because this comes from this equation here, p is equal to 1, negative 1, 4 plus t, 3, negative 2, 1. I just took the x component here and solved for t. It's got to be the same t for the z. So p is equal to 4 plus t 
times 1, which is going to be 11. And so P is 11. And so we can find the different forms of the equation. We can use various information to find points on the line. We'll try another example. Here we're going to convert this equation to parametric and into vector form. Well, I'll do a couple different ways. But the first way, I will concentrate on this. And I want to make it look so that it's a single x subtract a number. And so to do it, I'm going to take 2x minus 5 over 2. I'm going to multiply this by 1. But it's going to be a funny looking 1. It's going to be a 1 that looks like 1 half over 1 half, because that will change this around. When I do that, if I multiply by 1, I get x minus 5 halves over 1 equals, this is, oh, this is my, another version of the Cartesian, and then I'm going to go to here. I could do the same thing here. I can change this to y minus 3 over negative 3. And I could also go do the same thing for this and multiply it by negative a half over negative a half, which will give me x minus 5 over 2 over minus 5 over 2. And then I can just read the equation. I can read this equation. Here's my vector, or my parametric it's going to be. My parametric will be x is equal to positive 5 halves, because it's opposite sign, plus 1t. y is going to be 3 minus 3t. And z is equal to minus 5 halves, minus 5, oh, positive 5 halves, opposite sign, over 2t. That's one way that I could write it into parametric. And vector form is very similar. r is equal to 5 halves, 3, 5 halves, plus t, 1, 3, negative 5 halves. There's a the vector form. Another option I could have gotten to get to parametric form, as opposed to just algebraically rearranging it, I could have taken each part and recognizing that this here equals t. So I could have said t is equal to 2x minus 5 over 2 multiply by 2, x minus 5, and then I uh, add the 5 over, 2t plus 5 equals 2x, and so x would be divided by 2, 5 over 2 plus t. This would be my x value. And if you see, it's the same as my parametric equation here. And so that's another way that I could have converted to parametric and vector form. Last example in this video, show that this point is on this line. Well, if it's on the line, I can set it equal to the line. Plus lambda 1, 3, 0. And so when I go across for my x component, I get 3 is equal to 1 plus lambda. And so lambda is equal to 2. Going to my y component, it says 6 is equal to 0 plus lambda, which is 2, times 3, which is a true statement. 6 is 6. And finally, negative 1 is equal to negative 1 plus 2 times 0, which again is true, is a true statement. Therefore, this point is on the line. It has to work for ev the lambda is the same for every single component. When I switch it then to the other point, okay, so I got 2, 3, 0, and so on. So 2 is equal to 1 plus lambda, and so lambda is equal to 1. I use that for my y component. So 3 is equal to 0 plus lambda being 1 times 3, so 3 is 3. So far, so good. But I have to check it for each component. So 0 is equal to negative 1 plus 1 lambda times 0. 
So 0 is equal to negative 1. Well, that's a false statement. Therefore, not on line. All right, so there's lots of here for vector equation of the line and quite helpful along the way.